this isn't good uh, YouTube etiquette, I know. But uh, a lot of things happen in my life and is still happening right now. I have a shower to prepare for my two best friends. Uh, they have, well, my roommates are having a baby that is coming at the end of August or start of September. So I'm really excited about that. But I am organizing the shower and at the same time I'm doing my work hours. And at the same time I need to do my stuff and I, I worked on a project, a personal project that I, I didn't want to put on the channel. I'll show you what I did a little bit later uh, in another video. Today we are back on the Blade Runner project and I'm really excited to paint the street today. We're gonna do a lot of stuff. I started already without you because I'm a cheater as you know. I wanted to have a way that I could assemble my piece and disassemble easily so I can send it or uh, ship it if I want to ship it somewhere. Uh, without breaking it and without like being a solid piece of stuff that can break easily. So I embedded uh, magnets in the foam here, uh, two here and two here, but this side maybe won't have magnets. I did the street with cement. Yet again, cement is my uh, my first and favorite weapon on this project, it looks like. I'm gonna do the paint job on this today. So at the end of the day, I'm gonna see my piece fully assembled with a 3D version. And there's something I did uh, without showing you, um, but I built the structure for wall number two here. So it stands on its own and it looks amazing. So I'm gonna show you everything assembled, this painted, I'm gonna try to find, uh, I'm gonna try to find like, um, how does it call? A manhole. I'm gonna try to find a manhole that I can print. So I'm gonna put my walls, figure out where I have to glue the magnets because these are really strong magnets. I already glued them with this Gorilla Glue that is super strong. So I hope it will be enough so that the magnet doesn't go with the other one. And that's pretty much it. Let's try it out. All right. I just learned that I ate working with magnets and uh, isolation foam at the same time. It doesn't stick properly. There's, the isolation foam is too brittle for magnets, strong magnets, strong magnets as I have right now. So to make sure that the magnet stick and stays inside the isolation foam, I'm going to drown them in hot glue so it will like 
make an encasing of the magnet that's inside the uh, insulation foam so it doesn't stick and stays with the other magnet that are stuck to uh, the walls. So uh, it wasn't easy, I hated it because uh, I switched the side of the magnet so it doesn't stick and I uh, it didn't go as planned. Let's, let's just put it that way. It didn't go as planned. So right now I just have to wait for the glue to settle in because I think I got everything figured out but the next step is to drown the inside magnets with hot glue. a lot because it's all about problem solving like I just tried my hot glue method that I, of encasing the uh, magnet into this foam and I think it's gonna work which is surprising a lot of stuff that I try I think they're gonna fail because it's just trial and error but I was lucky I have been lucky with this project because everything that I've tried turned out to be useful in a way or in some ways that I wouldn't thought about it so this to work that easily uh, it's a game it's a game so uh, I'm gonna do I, I did the three on top so I'm gonna do the four or the other four after that but I'm gonna wait for them to dry to make sure that if everything is level uh, but uh, it looks great surprisingly <laughs> Good news, uh, the hot glue worked like perfectly. This is gonna stay there, the magnets is gonna stay in, and it is perfect. Good news number two, it works like it is perfect. It is exactly what I want it to be. It fits perfectly, and I'm really happy with the result, the first result that I got. Bad news, I have to be patient, and I hate that. But I'm gonna focus my uh, my efforts on painting the street now because uh, I cannot do anything more than that but I can play with my base so that's a good thing so I'm gonna paint the street black and maybe add a little touch of grays but not too much because I want to put uh, a water effect on it after after the fact so let's work on that <laughs> has to dry up a little bit but and uh, try to show you all right it doesn't look like much right now because it's still drying so it's a little bit cloudy but this will become clear and really look like water 
So what I did is that I put a black base for the street and then I added a little bit of gray, put textures and art and use of the street on it. And then I applied a pouring medium, a clear pouring medium on the sidewalks here because it's gonna rain in my vision and over here as well. So you have a little spot and this place is dry because there's the, uh, the little bubble overhead. So it's not wet over here. So I'm excited to see it dry up. There's not much I can do any further today because I just have to wait. I have to wait for my magnets to dry up. I have to wait for the street to dry up. And yeah, so this week is a waiting game. It was amazing to see it fit when I put all the magnets, even if it got unstuck and destroyed for the first time. Uh, it, it worked, it worked. Oh, and I don't know if you saw, but I'm, I'm gonna show you. I'm gonna, I'll be back. I found the paper that I needed for the uh, light over here. I think something got unstuck here. Yeah, right there. Yeah, that's the sound I heard. All right, so there you go. Uh, I found this paper. This is a parchment paper, but it's a rougher parchment paper that I tried before. And uh, what I did is that I uh, I rolled it really, 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 really tight, and I. Uh, and I steamed the paper. So I, I, I have a steamer for my uh, my shirts and everything. So I steamed the paper and I put the paper in a really, really tight uh, tube, metal tube that I have right here. So it's 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 stuck with this shape and uh, it worked perfectly. This is exactly what I wanted. Next week, we'll continue with the Blade Runner project. I will also show you uh, what I did in secret because it's, it's really an, an art felt project and uh, that has a lot of history. So um, yeah, I, I won't tell you anymore because I don't want my friend to guess what it is uh, Because I'm gonna give them on Sunday and we are today Wednesday and tomorrow I'm gonna post this video and maybe they're gonna watch it. So I don't want to spoil anything for them But thank you very much uh, for watching this video uh, the project is going along uh, slowly but surely I think the next video will push even forward even more forward than the previous videos like the painting job is gonna start and I'm gonna see it become a thing for the first time and you as well by the way thank you to uh, last slide out for the music as usual this guy is amazing and I really like that he gives me he gives me access to his music thank you LP and uh, yeah if you like the stuff you see here like and subscribe uh, I have Blade Runner next week and then we have the Watch Your Feet project that I really want to finish. Uh, there's, uh, <laughs> there has been some mistakes, uh, false prints, so I have to fix that as well. I'm pretty sure I'm going to fix this, but we'll get through that. So thank you for watching and have a great week.